Hey guys, we are not in the bus. We are at a hotel. Honestly, so let's just do a little chat before we get into this video. Um, one, it's super hot, it's 97 degrees. Nobody wants to live in a bus in 97 degrees, even with my mini split, absolutely not. Um, two, I've been feeling really overwhelmed and kind of stressed lately. I had what I thought was like the most perfect buyer for the bus and then it ended up not working out. So I was really sad about that. I was unsure of like what I wanted to do this week. I know I have a flight out of Salt Lake City on Friday, but up until then, I literally had no idea what I wanted to do. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to Boulder, I'm gonna go explore, I'm going to get a hotel room and just like hunker down for two days. So we got here yesterday, we leave tomorrow from the hotel room. Hi, Honcho. <laughs> He's enjoying the AC. We are at the park before we leave Boulder. Come on, Honcho. Come here. Um. This is the dog park I stayed at uh, the first few days that I was here. Honestly, the parking lot's great, besides there's no shade. So this would be like a good spot to hang out for a while. Um, there's a dog park here. And, oh wait, hold on Joe, let me take your leash off. There you go. And the, dark, the dog park here has a lake area that's fenced off so the dogs can swim. So it's like 95 degrees today, it's hot. AF again. Come on, Hanchito. Um, but we're gonna take Hancho swimming and then I'm gonna throw the ball a little for him to dry off and then we'll drive down to uh, Denver. So as soon as I get him playing a little bit, I will share with you guys why we're going back to Denver again. Wanna go swim? Good boy, Hancho. Such a good swimmer. So good. So good. Okay, guys, let's talk through why we're going back to Denver. Um, <laughs> I'm supposed to be going to Salt Lake. If you guys remember my Baja vlogs, my friend Mike, he is like my best friend in the entire world. Um, he is running a Ironman in Lake Placid, so I'm going to support him and then spend a few days with him on Nantucket after that. Honcho out, thank you. Um, spend a few days with him on Nantucket after that. So I'm flying out of Salt Lake on Friday. Um, I would like to be going to Salt Lake today, uh, but I'm selling my bus. If you watch my vlogs, you know that I'm selling my bus. And I have someone that lives in Denver that is on vacation. They get back Thursday afternoon um, and they would love to see the bus, which puts me in a really tight time schedule to get to Salt Lake from Denver. It's about probably eight and a half hours in the bus. Hey, stop tearing it apart. He keeps ripping his Frisbee apart. I need to buy a new one. Look at this. It's not even like a Frisbee anymore. Um, so, I basically messaged the person and I said, you know what, I've had so much interest in the bus. It's actually been really overwhelming and really crazy, but um, a lot of people end up loving the bus and then don't have the money. So I straight up asked this person, I said, you know what, like if you're a serious buyer, I will, here's my situation, put myself in this time crunch for you. Um, but like I said, I've had so many people that love the bus and then they can't end up getting a loan. And he said, you know, we love your bus already. Honcho out. Oh my God, guys, he, it's not even a Frisbee. He was like, we already have the cash. Uh, so we, we just wanna make sure it's the right fit. I was like immediately sold. So I'm going back to Denver to meet them on Thursday afternoon. Um, the reason why I'm going back to Denver right now is because I pay for a burn boot camp month to month and my month expires August 1st. So I was like, I might as well go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, get some more uh, use out of my membership and then uh, leave from there. So that's the plan. We're going back to Denver to hopefully have a potential buyer for the bus. This would be honestly great to just like know that the bus is sold before I go on vacation. Their timeline is great. They said they wanna buy in a few weeks. So when I get back, I could drive back to Denver, clean up the bus, move my stuff out and sell it, which would be 
amazing. So I'm saying this on video because I'm trying to manifest this. <laughs> By the time this video comes out, I should know if they want to buy or not. Um, since I'm meeting them on Thursday, hopefully they decide Thursday and tell me like, yes, this is it. And we could do a deposit and have all this handled. Um, but yeah, so hopefully next week I'll give you guys some good updates saying that the bus is sold. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm just going to hang out with Honcho a little bit. His frisbee's pretty much done. I might throw it like two more times and then we're going to throw the ball a little for him to dry off before heading down to Denver to work out. And we are hanging out with Anwar. If you guys remember from last week's video, um, I'll put his Instagram name right here if anyone wants to follow him. Um, but he's going to be in Denver, so probably going to hang out a little tonight, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. Um, so I'll film that, of course, and continue to vlog our week. But yeah. That's what's going on in my life, y'all. <laughs> Guys, I am so frustrated today. <laughs> it's only 9 a.m. and I have the longest day of my literal life. Um, we're at the vet to get Honcho two vaccines because the place that he is staying in Salt Lake City tomorrow for my flight tomorrow told me his vaccines are expired because it has to be within six months and literally today was six months so since he's staying tomorrow they're considered um overdue so even though they don't expire for a year so we i'm paying an extra 130 dollars to stop at a random vet which he's never been to so i have to pay for an exam fee to get two vaccines that technically he's not expired or overdue with and I was supposed to be working out right now, but I canceled my workout to do this because I have a facial and then I've got to finish cleaning up the bus and then I'm meeting someone to buy the bus potentially and then I have dinner plans in Boulder and then potentially meeting somebody else after that to see the bus and then drive into Salt Lake and I have to be there by 12 p.m. tomorrow. So I'm just trying to breathe, just trying to breathe. But I'm very stressed and I'm very annoyed and I don't do well when I get stressed. I start to break out, which is why I'm getting a facial um my health gets impacted and I don't want to be stressed so I'm trying to take a deep breath I could wait and get his vaccines a little cheaper in a few hours but I, that could tighten my time schedule a little so I'd rather just pay even though I'm super stressed about money right now to just know that it's done and know that he's covered so that's what we're doing are you ready to get some shots? Are you ready to get some shots? And be a good boy? Yeah? <laughs> oh, hi, honey. Okay, guys, the day that I have, holy cow. Here's the bus, though. About to make some peanut butter for Honcho. But. The people will be here in like two minutes to show them the bus. So send positive vibes. Hopefully I have good news after this. Uh, and I'll come back to you after the showing. Guys, hello. I know I look so different, but I promise you it is still Thursday. <laughs> and I still have so much to do today. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the showing went really well. Um, it was a couple. They really liked it. I was like super nervous because the guy's like really into cars and was like looking under the hood and all this stuff. And I like know I take care of my bus, but like still it's like kind of nerve wracking, you know, um, but they want to take it for a test drive. So I let them do that. And he was just like, I'm so impressed. It like drives so smooth, like nothing's rattling. And I'm like, yeah, because I take care of it. Um, so it went really well. They are going to talk to me early next week. Um, and let me know what way they're going. Uh, they really like it. Um, their plans is to go from Canada to Costa Rica, which I think that'd be so freaking cool for my best to go to Costa Rica. Like that's so dope. Um, but they are going to look at a few other rigs this weekend. They just got back from vacation. So they've got a few other things lined up. So they're going to let me know. Um, which is nice. I was supposed to y'all. This is how stressed I was. So I'm meeting a friend in Boulder now for a little bit um, to hang out for a little and then oh I know where I am. Okay. Um, and then I was going to drive to meet this other lady in Wyoming. She was going to come from Steamboat Springs like two and a half hours on my route to meet me. Um, however, 
she's like getting caught up at work and I also didn't want to rush about like hanging out with my friend for a little bit um so we're just she's just gonna meet me when we get back if the bus is still for sale unless this couple like lets me know like they want it you know what I mean but the lady was like I'm not flaking like I love your bus your bus is exactly what I want like I really want it um this just like also gives me time to like get my ducks in a row type thing so that's also a very promising lead um so I'm hoping by the time I come back I've got it sold or someone's for sure gonna buy it I don't know <laughs> it's so stressful selling a vehicle is so stressful Ugh. okay but anyway, so now the new plan is I'm not meeting her in Wyoming, which means I have a little bit more relaxed time here. My only time constraint is I have to be in Salt Lake City tomorrow by 1 p.m. It is a seven and a half hour drive from where I currently am in Boulder. Um, so the plan tonight is to drive anywhere from three to four hours. Four would be more ideal, to be honest. Um, and then Taylor, I'm supposed to that's where Taylor is um, he wants to he's going to Tetons and we don't know when we're gonna see each other again so it'd be nice to like just camp out together tonight and then um, maybe grab some breakfast from a place or something in the morning um, where we're supposed to be meeting there's literally nothing but a loves truck stop and so I figured we could probably drive to like Rock Springs early in the morning get breakfast and then from there I would continue to Salt Lake he would head north to Tetons that's like the city that we would split in so that's kind of like the tentative plan. Um, honestly, it just depends on what time I leave here tonight. It, um, depends on how far I'm gonna drive. So, three to four hours just sounds exhausting. Like I don't wanna do it, so I'm kind of like annoyed about it, but I'd rather get most of the leg done tonight rather than tomorrow and be stressed. But you know what, guys? We know where Honcho's staying. We know where the bus is staying. I just have to get to Salt Lake by 1 p.m. to drop Poncho off and then I can pack. I can even go to Burn Boot Camp tomorrow at 4.30 before um, my flight because my flight's not till like 11 p.m. I get to hang out in the bus all day. I can drop the bus off at uh, the mechanic that it's staying at and then Uber from there to the airport and the bus is good there for the whole week. Um, so I don't have to worry about it. It's all working out. I was super stressed, but I got everything done. Now the only feat ahead of me is just a long drive and a very long travel day tomorrow, <laughs> starting tomorrow night into tomorrow, or the Saturday morning. But I'm super excited to head out there and get there. So we're almost done with this boring, boring week. I'm so sorry, but this has been like a chaotic week in my life. So just trying to share it all, you know? All right, guys, I'm going to go hang out with my friend and I'll check back in with you guys a little bit later. Where's Honcho? Honcho! Say bye! <laughs> Alright guys, I'm getting a super, super late start. I'm a little stressed. It's already 10.30. Come on, Honcho! Oh, he's still pooping. Um, it's already 10.30 and I'm trying to drive like three and a half hours and I don't know if I'm going to make it. So, we're going to do our best, uh, see where we get to do tonight and go from there. I hate myself for hanging out this long. <laughs> I hate myself. I wish I would have left on time, but here we are. So, anywho, we're about to hit the road. It says right now 217 miles, 3 hours, 22 minutes, arrival 157 a.m. <sighs> oh boy. The good news is I'm not tired at all, so I might be able to make it. Hey y'all, good morning. We made it to Rock Springs, Wyoming. And my check engine light came on. I'm not worried about it, it's driving just fine. I really think it's my O2 sensor. It came on when I was in Rocky Mountain um, and went off before I could get it checked. Um, but this was coming on last summer and it hasn't come on in a while. So I'm assuming it's the same exact thing. So I just got the thing from AutoZone and I'm gonna plug it in and we're gonna see what it says. Let's just pray it's an O2 sensor and nothing serious, which I don't think it is, but uh, anyways. Okay. All right. Dun, 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 dun. It is working.
my thought process is, the good news is, um, if it is an O2, let me get some better lighting. If it is an O2 sensor, um, the good news is my bus is going to a mechanic Why I'm going to be out of town. My e-brake is broken. Um, my e-brake is broken and uh, what else is wrong? The oil pressure sensor is also broken and a tail light's out. So they're fixing all of that. So just to add this wouldn't be that big of a deal. All right, I'm gonna take it in. I'm not gonna film. I feel a little uncomfortable in this town. <laughs> um, and I don't wanna draw more attention to myself by like filming myself. So I'm going to leave you here and I will come back to you with the news after. Okay guys, got the report. Um, oxygen sensor, which is what I thought it was. And I'm pretty sure this is the same thing, the same one as last summer. Um, so it says sensor two, which I think is the one behind the catalytic convert, catalytic converter. I think, don't quote me on that. But um, this is the one that's been going off, I'm pretty sure for the past year, but I haven't had it pop up in a while, so I'm just going to give this to the mechanic tomorrow and have them do that also, why it's already there, because I don't got time to be replacing stuff by myself. And I know there's people that are gonna be like, you could do it yourself so much cheaper. Yeah, I could, but like, there's things I, I choose to do and choose not to do and bus maintenance is things I choose not to do like so many people have been like let me teach you how to give an oil change I have no interest in learning how to do an oil change I just really don't like I know how to change a tire if I need to um, in terms of maintenance like I'm sorry I'd rather just pay <laughs> which sounds so terrible but like I just would rather spend my energy and time in other things than fixing my own bus I mean I built my own bus so like I feel like that's good enough. Um, but anywho, I'm about to go in and get some Starbucks because I'm dying. Um, we've got about two and a half hours left to Salt Lake City. I think, I think it's about two and a half hours. Let me put it in directly to where we're going, which is Honcho's thing. Two hours and 32 minutes, 177 miles. Um, so we're gonna fill up with some gas and then I'm gonna probably drop him off and then I gotta go to Walmart to get a tub aware for him for his food they don't do like bags which is what I normally drop him off with so I have to buy something from Walmart um, so I just want to get him there and then I'll drop food off later so that's the plan y'all I'm gonna go get the Starbucks and we're gonna get on the road we're almost there we have done an hour and a half yesterday we've done about four hours today Two and a half to go, and we are there. <laughs> are you ready for doggy daycare? Are you gonna be such a good boy? Y'all, I'm so sad. I'm about to leave him for nine days. Come here, who's up? <laughs> I'm about to leave him for nine days. I love you, honey. You be so good at doggy daycare, okay? You be a good boy. You be nice and make lots of friends. Can you promise? You make friends and play so good? I'm so sad. I'm gonna take him in and then I need to go to Walmart and get him some more food. I just wanted to drop him off because they technically like them here between nine and 11, but they extended for us today because we're traveling and it's 12.20, so I'm gonna drop him off. I'm gonna ask if I can tour the facility. That always makes me feel better. <laughs> I love you. You ready to go to doggy daycare? You wanna go to doggy daycare, play with your friends? Yeah? Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. It is hot as Hades Ugh. in Utah. It's 99 degrees today. I'm parked kinda in shade and it's 98 degrees in the bus. Tomorrow's supposed to be like 103. I'm like, thank you, Jesus, for getting me out of here because this is insane. But y'all, I'm packed. Oh, I have 
feel like this is kind of a lot, but I'm thinking about it and technically tomorrow's like my first day of vacation because I'm traveling tonight, but so it's the 22nd through the 29th and I land the morning of the 30th, like at midnight. So 22nd through the 29th, that's like a whole week. I don't think that this is too much. Um, I don't know. But uh, all I need to do really is put my iPad in there, it's charging in my headphones and that's it. Um, but I'm at burn boot camp, so I'm gonna go in and get a good workout and this is literally kind of the end of my night. I'm packed now, so all I really have to do is shower edit this youtube video and get it posted and park the bus uber to the airport and my fun travel weekend starts uh my travel week starts so this video is going to end here but if you want to see my travels um to lake placid to meet up with some other nomad friends cheer on mike during his iron man and then mike and i are going back to nantucket where he is currently living and uh we're gonna do bus life over there for a little in his bus not my bus um and mark's over there another bus friend so it's gonna be a good time so if you want to see all of that um make sure you come back next sunday because next week's video is going to pick up this evening as my travel journey starts so hope to see you guys next sunday thank you guys for watching uh that's it bye <laughs>